okay so today we'll be doing latin i actually thought that this that was easy and uh, you guys will complete it but uh, i'm getting a lot of requests for the video so i thought of doing it one so in latin so we'll be uh, dealing with regression and correlation so this um, is your assignment question i will not be doing the class activity as it's very easy for you to do you can just follow the instructions given in the lab manual so today i will be uh, doing you 1a and there is a slight difference in this 1b also so i'll be teaching you that um and I, I i might not do the complete problem but i may just give you the hint how to do this and this is quite easy once is easy it's between salary charity and there is one more variable which is hidden in this word that is sex so you will have to deal with three variables that is salary charity and sex okay so it's actually um same like you do your one a the only difference is um here they have given the um height for both male and female here also the salary is mentioned for he or she so you actually can do for males or females so it depends on you 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 can actually do any one among them okay so let's get back to the question the question is you have to find the correlation coefficient and the regression equation and then you will have to do the regression models for both males and females and then you will have to obtain the point estimate and pi values pi is nothing but the prediction intervals which we call as uh, confidence intervals also okay and the height is given for male and female so um using the given information you will be finding out the answers for this question okay let me show it how so what are the questions to be answered you have to find the correlation coefficient, regression equation, point estimate, and PI values. And then also, there are two conditions in this. If the um, correlation is significant, if the correlation is significant, you can obtain point estimate and PI values by the method I showed you. If it is not significant, and when do we say it is not significant when you get the negative values we say it is not significant so at that time um the procedure is different and i will show you how it is done so first um let's finish this one a so this one a uh, will be is between the weight height and sex male and female so first open your subset of small town down okay so now we have to obtain correlation constant for that go to analyze multivariate methods okay multivariate methods multivariate okay so now you will have to choose height and weight height and weight in y column separated by six six in pi column okay just click on OK. So this is your correlation graph. We call it as matrix, data plot matrix. This was taught in your uh, lab two manual, I guess. Okay, so it's kind of a matrix. Okay, so how are you going to find your correlation correlation? It's over here. Okay. So now we have got four values and we have to choose any one. So how do you have to choose this? Correlation is nothing but a relation between a linear relationship between the two variables. So when you see this first one, so 
this value is 1 and it's giving you a relationship between height and height. But we need a relation between two different variables that is height and weight. So we are supposed to choose this value. Okay? We are supposed to choose the value which gives the relationship between two different variables. You can choose this or else you can choose this. 0 0.6020 is the correlation quotient. So now you are done with this. So what is the other one? It is regression equation. How are you supposed to find out that is again go to analyze the y by x so now now the part is here it is mentioned as height as independent variable right height as the independent variable it means you're supposed to choose this height in x factor all the independent variables belongs to x factor so go to height choose as x factor and then go to weight and click on y response sets so separated by sex okay just click on okay so this is your regression equation so how how do you find your regression equation in this yes just click on this and give us fit line okay click on the red triangle and click on fit line so this is your regression equation can you see this this is your regression equation so what you're supposed to do is when you copy and paste it make sure you paste the whole thing go here you have a selection tool there just click on this okay the whole thing is selected copy and paste it now this regression equation is only for females okay so now you have to do for males also so go here click on fit line you get the another regression equation so this is the regression equation for males okay so you have to copy and paste the whole thing now close it you are done with this. Now you have to obtain a point estimated PMMs. And I forgot you to say how do you do your how do you say the correlation is significant or not? My column. Okay, so I told you right, this was your correlation correction and see the values are positive over the values are positive. So if the values are positive, then we say it is significant. So you can just proceed uh, with the procedure I'm showing you. And in one way, the correlation coefficients are not significant. And I will show you how to um, do the point estimate and pay values for that. So now let's do for first one. So now uh, we know that the correlation is significant, so we are going to obtain point estimate and pay values. Before that, just drag down and you will have to enter these values. Okay, you'll have to enter this values of height given in the question. So create two additional rows. Mm. So you'll have to go to additional rows for this. So it's between male and female row. I'll give male and then for female. Okay, what is the height for male? It's given in the question, which is 70. Go and enter 70 for that. And for female, the height is 62. So go here and enter that 62. Okay, that's it. No other changes. Go here, analyze, click on fit model, so you get this new table. Okay, so we know that uh, height will be in the add section because that is given. That is what we added in this row, right? So height has been added. Then weight will be in the y column separated by 6. Okay, just run this. So this is your uh, model, depression model for 
females and male okay so you must have to copy and paste this also the whole thing because there are some values here which i can compare and get to know the get to know whether this whether your solutions are correct or not so what you have to do is go here save column predicted values okay that is nothing but your point estimate so again click on this save column individual confidence interval click on this that's it okay and uh, we did for females we are going to do for male also so go here save column predicted values again click on this save columns and individual confidence interval click on this so we are done for males and females close this so you have got three additional columns and you have find out you have found the uh, point estimate this is your points point estimate and your prediction interval lower prediction lower pl values and upper pl values which is nothing but your confidence interval okay so we, you have found these so what you have to do is just enter the values for males and females you don't have to copy and paste the whole thing i just need these last two values to which you have found the pi values and point estimate so you have entered these two new values right i just need the corresponding values for this i need only these last two groups so you can use your sleeping tool or uh, if you are going to write by hand that is also fine okay so this is how you do your one p okay so so now let's get back to one b so what one b says is you're going to find out everything in the same way you did for one a but can you see your if the correlation is not significant you'll be using the mean value of systolic blood pressure and the corresponding ca values for that okay so go to subset yeah go to subset and then find your uh, correlation coefficient multivariate it's between systolic blood pressure bmi so systolic blood pressure and bmi in your y columns separated by six yeah right ks by two column two so this is your correlation coefficient you have to write these values got it so the values which gives you the relationship between systolic blood pressure and bmi so you will have to write the values and you can clearly see that these values are negative right the values are negative over here so we say that the correlation is not significant so close this you will have to copy and paste this make sure you give your correlation corrections in this way you actually can select this this much is enough for me okay i actually don't need this this is not needed or if you are going to paste this that's that's really good if you're going to paste the whole thing it's really fine for me close this and then we are going to find the regression equation with y by x so you know, which is the independent variable pm so pm my in your x factor systolic blood pressure y six separated click on okay you get your regression equation go here click line same way to for males click line okay you, you got your regression equation for males and you get your regression equation for females make sure you copy and paste the whole thing close this okay now you are going to find the point estimate and p values since the correlation is not significant you are not supposed to go here and uh, 
you, you used to do the fit model right you're not supposed to do all those things what you have to do is just go here add the rows that procedure is seen so what you have to do is yeah, this is for females and means the value given for bmi is uh, 23 for means so 24 for means and for females it is 23 just enter those values here and now what you have to do is go to analyze distribution go to analyze distribution and it's clearly mentioned that you will have to use the um, value mean value for systolic blood pressure right so what you have to do is go here click on systolic blood pressure by column separated by six so you get this graph for males and females okay you will have to write the mean value of this okay this is important the mean value is important the mean value is not a thing but your point is to me and lower 95 percent upper 95 percent is your ca values which is nothing but your prediction intervals okay so this much you have to do for females and males i need the uh, values both for males and females got it so this is how you do your one okay and once is quite easy from there so uh Follow this video step by step. I think um, you can finish your assignment and this much is enough for you. So if at all, if you have any doubts, make sure you email me and uh, I can do your WebEx meeting or I try to clear your doubts through the mail. Thank you.